double lined. If you see right here, pull the corner up. You can see I got two lined and I just trimmed it. it took me about an hour to do to both linings. Not too bad, first time. Couple wrinkles here and there, but when I put the media in, that'll all smooth out. The only thing you really see is probably right there. Remember, this is gonna have a trim on top of it too, but uh, you'll probably see about that on top of it, so. That's it. I already drilled the hole. It is, let me feel, right there. If I push down, you can see the circle. So I have, that's where the drain will be. The water intake will be on this side and then drain down there. This is the bed line. So double lining, I think will work good. I don't have to worry about condensation. I got a little extra protection. So that's it. I'll show you the next step when I'm done. Okay, I just got the bulkhead fitting in. See it right here. What I did was, after I made sure it was square and straight, I cut an X right there. Uh, before I put this in, right here, I put some silicone down, and right next to it, underneath the, of the plastic, I put some Gorilla Glue, and I put this in. Uh, that'll just help create a better seal and hold that in place in case I get a hairline here. Uh, I should seal that up so it doesn't get the wood. Uh, if it does anything, it'll just go out and down the drain because I got the flaps folded down too. So that's with that. Take a peek underneath. There it is right there underneath. That's it. I'll see you at the next step. Okay, doing a wet run. Seeing how, if I got any hairline leaks around here or underneath or anywhere. Uh, I'll show you how I got it coming in right now. Now this part will be permanent, but I got it hooked up to a temporary pump. Uh, and that pipe I got length on purpose so it'll be below the clay beads. And if anything, I might go a hair longer, but I think that should be okay. I'll go with the water line first. I think I said that, but coming over the top, uh, my valve so I can speed up, slow down the water, goes down and under and just goes over here. I got to get underneath to paint the back side of this and on the other side. I'm going to paint the pipe to that same stain. Yeah, it might chip after time, but look a little better. For now, I just got an adapter into a pump and a pump down in the sump. That'll be change later when I get my big pump uh, all the beds will be hooked up here and I'll go down in a line so uh, right now I got the bell in the siphon okay it's so just starting to come out uh, I plan to just try it I had I wanted the top of my siphon to be at, at that level over there so I could always eyeball it later came out just right so it sat for an hour nothing no leaks no nothing which is good so I just turned it back on so now we will see if my bell siphon works so I guess you'll know if I'm past or failing right here <laughs> so starting to leak out and I do not have the water on high so I might have to turn it up a little more I'm just curious about if I have to have it with this much bed with rocks in it'll be easier the clay beads but I'm just curious especially being an inch and a half wide yeah, it's gone yeah with the beads it'll be a lot quicker than this this won't have to displace so much let me turn the water up just a little see I don't have it on high now it'll now it should go I bet you at least it's starting With the inch and a half bell, I can always go down to an inch if I need. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was it. I'll put a vertical pipe on there to make it a little neater. Uh, with all the beads in here, clay beads, I don't. I won't have to have it on a high because it'll be, you know, a lot easier. Uh, won't have to displace so much. Let me say that. So, it worked. First time. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Always nice when a plan works. But you can see it's going down right now, and you can see uh, there. 
What I was trying to say earlier is the height of my siphon inside the bell, I tried to measure to get the same height as that going down. The only reason I did that was, and I got pretty darn close, when I fill the clay beads up, I always know a level of my water line. So that's more personal than functional. So, but that's it. I'll show you uh, once we start filling it up anything and I can take the board off once the shroud's on. I just didn't want the PVC to float away. That's it. We'll see if it, I'll cut this here, then we'll bring it back up when it's about to kill off, to cut off to see if the siphon breaks. Okay, I'm starting to fill this up. I'm just taking it out of the old beds. Uh, I got this stuff temporarily, just sitting in an inch of water. Uh, just, some of you guys probably know this, but a trick to do is start filling it up. And once you get it, because I know that's about the top of the thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all the gravel to the top of that level. I'm going to fill the water up just until it starts to drain. Turn it off before the siphon starts. Then I can see the water level to add two more inches on. Now, you can't fill the water up first because of the displacement. You know, to tell you how much displacement, in the video you watched a second ago when it was draining out over here, when there was that much water at the bottom of the bed, if you look in here now, it's about 40% full. So there's a lot of displacement, obviously. So that, that's just a little trick I wanted to make sure I pass on. You guys might have known that, but just in case. So in case you ever build any beds, you're filling it up with anything, that's a good thing to do to get your inch and a half, two inches above the line and make it real easy. Okay, here is the first drain. I got the downspout there and it's coming down really nice and neat inside there. Just got it filled and got the strawberries in here. The strawberries aren't gonna stay in here, but that's what I had in the other beds until I can build my, I'm gonna do a, a film transfer, which uh, basically, you'll see coming up here, you know, but I got some other herbs and stuff up here, but I need a shade cloth here, but that's it. It's going and you can see it. It's just chugging along out of that pipe. Uh, here's the bottom of the beds. Some little gunk, but it's been going for about nine months. Pretty clean for nine months, in my opinion. Uh, some of the beads are a little dirty, so you can kind of see it's a little, it, it's a little dirty in there, but that'll clean up from this bed here once it goes in and out, you know, it'll, so that's it. This is the finishing of the bed. Uh, I'll have to, when I get the other pump and everything, I can. I'll redo the electrical and all that stuff to make it look neater, but that's the first bed.